I think the simplest and best technique to take down your braids, locks, etc. is one, cut your braids, two, unbraid, detangle. But I'm gonna give you seven tips on how to make sure you maintain healthy hair and retain as much length as possible. Hey huns, Fola here. These braids were such a moment, but this video is all about the takedown process, so let's get straight into the tips. Number one, mentally prepare yourself for the takedown process. You need to carve out time, binge watch a new TV show, podcast, album. You wanna make sure that the process is as enjoyable as possible, because when you rush through the takedown process, you tend to just be a lot harsher to your hair. You need to be gentle, babes, come on. Number two, work on each braid one by one. Take out the synthetic hair, but the key is to detangle as you go. Don't wait until you've taken out all the braids to detangle all at once or in the shower because that's just asking for hours of struggling, matting, and a sore head. So don't do that. <laughs> Number three, use oils for the pockets of dirt at the root. Y'all know what I'm talking about. All the gel, edge control, mm-hmm, yeah. So oil reduces surface friction and helps the strands glide past one another. So using oil here will help break down the clumps of dirt and make it easier to comb and finger comb throughout your hair. If you wanna reduce this type of buildup though, I would still maintain a cleansing routine like on a weekly basis or however you need to do it. But I'll link my video to show you guys how I wash my hair and my braids in the card above. Number four, repurpose old leave-in conditioner. Your hair has been without water and moisture for a month or two. 10 out of 10, it's dehydrated, making it more fragile with really harsh manipulation. I personally love and recommend repurposing an old leave-in conditioner that I didn't really love anyway to help detangle and add some softness back to my hair. But this is strictly just for the detangling process, girl. This will be thoroughly cleansed out and washed out with the clarifying shampoo, so do not worry. Number five, don't be scared at the amount of hair that you lose. Remember hair sheds every day, about 100 strands a day. So during the duration of your style, all that natural shedding has had nowhere to go but be stuck. So be mindful of that when you're detangling. You're not losing hair. You don't need to like psych yourself out. You're okay. It's just the hair in the shedding has got to go somewhere and now it has an out. <laughs> Number six, don't keep your style in for too long. Six to eight weeks is plenty of time. Anything past that starts to become neglectful. Yeah, I'm sorry, sis. I'm sorry. I have to say it, but it's true. Our hair needs moisture and that moisture is water. You can't properly wash the, the length of our hair if it's in a style for a quarter of the year. Baby, come on now. Two plus two is four and five plus five is ten, but it's not adding up when you are in a style for three, four, five months? No, not realistic. Number seven is a reminder for length retention. Having a protective style is nice and it's a great alternative to style our hair a different way and reduce manipulation. However, it's not the shortcut to healthy and long hair that we think it is, especially if you are neglectful to your hair during and after the install. I hope y'all are hearing me like during and after the install if you are neglecting your hair and you're constantly doing this you're not going to be seeing the length retention that you want you need to actually be caring for your hair in any state that it's in lastly we got to stop thinking that back-to-back -back protective styles will magically grow our hair there's no sustainable growth without proper care. A little TLC, a little, you know. Think about plants, like our hair are like plants. We have to care for it. We can't just kind of just put it away and think it's just gonna magically grow like that. It doesn't work like that, y'all. We, we know, we know. But anyway, that is all I have for this video. If I put you on game, don't forget to subscribe and binge my channel for more content like this. I love y'all. Peace and blessings. More content on the web. You know what the deal is. Follow me on all the, what is it called? Social media channels, TikTok, Instagram, whatever. The, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Enjoy. Drops on you will